Rosalind Carter was the type of first lady the country had never met before, not just an advisor to her husband, but a political partner in the White House. I like to know what's going on. Jim has always um, involved me. She was the first of the first ladies to sit in on cabinet meetings, as well as briefings from the National Security Council. And she acted as the president's emissary abroad, mostly on visits to Latin America. My role was more one of a sounding board for Jimmy. He could explain the issues to me and um, in the process think them through. Born in Plains, Georgia, at age 18, she married Jimmy Carter. The couple had four children and ran the Carter family's peanut business. Rosalind helped Jimmy Carter's campaign to become governor of Georgia and his successful 1976 run for the White House. As first lady, her top domestic cause was mental health care. She chaired the president's commission to promote better services and to protect those with mental illness from discrimination. She continued that work after leaving the White House and also advocated for better support for America's seniors, taking that battle to Capitol Hill. We face a national crisis in caregiving, especially for our elderly citizens. She was a full partner in the activities of the Carter Center, which the couple launched after leaving the White House to promote conflict resolution and advance human rights. She worked alongside her husband with Habitat for Humanity to build homes for the poor. Betty Ford was my friend. In 2011, she paid tribute to another first lady and her friend, Betty Ford. My honesty gave hope to others every single day. The former first couple continued to call Plains home, facing health challenges together in their later years. When the family announced that at age 95, Rosalind Carter had dementia, it said it hoped sharing the news would increase conversations about mental health, an issue she advocated for much of her long life. Natalie Brandt, CBS News.